New in 2015, IronCAD now supports KeyShot 5. Users can simply create their model and tell it to render in KeyShot and this will launch the KeyShot 5 integration once installed. In addition to the ability to use the rendering engine, users can now purchase options to also support the KeyShot animation and KeyShot VR along with KeyShot Pro to get more high-end rendering images exported. The basic usage for KeyShot is still the same where usually users can go into their modeling tree for materials or colors or environments and simply drag and drop onto desired parts which they, they want to apply the material. As you can see here we're applying an aluminum material to this part. We can also apply different metals or other materials to basically get a desired look for our parts. And it's a real-time display that it automatically re-renders as we sit here. You'll see more realistic rendering occur. To create an animation, it's very simple in KeyShot. Is basically you would actually open up their timeline manager under the window animation. And then you can actually start the animation wizard where you can create turntables, rotations, and even camera animations. In this case, maybe we want to do a translation and we can select a desired part. For example, maybe we want to move particular bolt. As you can see here, it will highlight the bolt that you want to move. Select next. You can also, by the way, create groups of all your components and actually move the entire group as one. But in our case, we're just going to move one particular one out. So we'll just move this one out a certain distance and hit finish. You'll see the timeline appear on the below. You can adjust the timeline to see that animation occur. We can see that this one's actually moving in a local direction. We can actually change that to a different orientation and see real time update of that change. In this case, it's moving in. We can include a po positive direction to move it out. As you can see, it moved out for us. Once your animation is created, you can simply go into the rendering settings and hit render. And if you have the purchased options, you can render a still image, an animation, or even KeyShot VR inside of the UI. So this is the, the new options that are available. Once you purchase these, these will appear. The output for these, for example, this is the animation that we would create for this particular file. You can see it creates a nice timeline animation for us. You can also create a virtual reality file, which we'll go ahead and open up that file. And what this allows you to do is to create a, a file that can be stored on a, a web server to where any machine, whether they're on the, a desktop or a Mac or even iPad or tablet devices supporting HTML5, can actually view the file. What this allows is users to allow them to interact with your model. Notice I can control what orientations this model can rotate. If I wanted to allow them to rotate up and down all the way around or to certain degrees, I have all that control with the KeyShot VR. This is just a sample video showing you how you can set that up and control that for a particular model. So a very nice option that's now added to the IronCAD 2015 release that you can support these additional capabilities of KeyShot to give really nice visuals to communicate your designs.